all eight players are amazing in my opinion. All eight players can go to the finals on any team, you know. But like I said, I can't predict this match. That's why I'm very, very excited to commentate so it. So at the end of the day, do you think it's going to come down to team versus team? Synergy has more teamwork, maybe more strats, more counter strats, more counter play. What do you think? Synergy does definitely have more up their sleeve. To take the advantage in that game. And then Nasty, I think it comes down to if Nasty can take this team on his back. Is okay. really what it comes down to. In my opinion, the Nasty, of course, is always considered the X Factor. And we're going to kick it off here. Execution, check out my favorite map to commentate. Nonstop action. We have Ribs Driving. Yep. He's amazing at it. Uh, we're going to well, kick off with Wildebeest so, uh, for the best on Cog. And we're going to see a 3-1 three, three, uh, three on both teams. So this is a plat fight. Wildebeest able to get the incense. And he might pick up a kill here. His teammate's actually dead. Ooh, wow, but a two actually poorly placed incense. It's all right, though. Hopefully they can recover. Strangulate takes out a uh, member of the, uh, sorry, that was Flames, in a two versus four situation. And I want to point out that round could have easily turned the other way if Willoughby hit those incense. Right. The first incense he threw to protect himself. Yep. And the second incense, I guess, was try to, and he has nades out here, so he can self-destruct. Synergy knows that. And great, great timing by Noxious. Yeah. And who, who knows if that was planned or not? If that was planned, then, I mean, that's uh, ideal timing. But, you know, the first thing he said, he threw the first incendiary to protect himself, but he knew his teammate was down. Chances are he's going to go for down team. And that was the second incendiary, and at that point he missed. But at the end of the day, no one's perfect, and mistakes are going to be made. First round, Synergy is getting hyped. Synergy, of course, is a team that rides off of momentum. They are definitely a fan favorite in this match. If we saw the chat right now, I guarantee we could see people going crazy that Synergy just won that first round. We're going to actually try to open up the chat right here, and we're going to kick off second round. I, I want to stay one more round with Wildebeest. Sure. If he has a front spawn, of course. Uh, we'll I see. believe it changes, but we'll it see does, right yeah, here. So does. right now, you know, we'll go with the front spawn on Locust. And here he is. This is Noxious, able to put in a shot on Supreme. And now it looks like Mirror Strats. Oh, but and Nasty Nas takes out Wildebeest. Oh, and Noxious. And now it's, a it's Noxious done yet. Can he get the two-piece? And he's fighting Flames. And he does. Great play Noxious by Noxious. going off, and he screams right after. And Wingos! Oh, 1v1. One one. Wingos versus Yogurt. I cannot believe that grenade. Perfectly placed, but you need to have communication to know he's rotating over. Whoever lost that one versus one, I think it was Strangulate, needs to be screaming to his teammates, letting him know that's going to be happening. Correct. One versus one situation right now. This is why I love Gears of War. When Yogurt's able to get the full red, now they're both full red. Next shot wins. Oh, my goodness. And the crowd is going nuts. Yogurt is screaming right now at the other team, making a statement in that one versus one against Wingos. And that's two rounds back to back that I feel could have went either way. And Barbosa comes over and he's looking at me smiling because he knows this is why we do this, guys. Oh, he this loves is to why see we hype. These events. He loves to see hype. And when I say hype, I actually mean commotion. The not commotion. <laughs> not the so I'm at the nade fight right now, which people don't usually watch, and this is why. So I'm going to switch. <laughs> this is why. So I'm just, you give it a chance, though. You give it a chance. And here comes here the go. fight. Wingos is going to follow. Wingo's able to pick up Strangulate, but it's a 3v3. Wildebeest is taken out. Wingo's has a meat shield, so he's going to opt to push Nasty. Is that a good idea? Wingo's yeah, doing good. Red. He's actually in one more shot, and he's going to kill Nasty. And, and Nasty comes out on top again in a one versus but one. But it looks like a... Uh-oh. Big fight going on a three on two situation. One more member alive. That is Flames. Or, sorry, Supremos. And he gets taken out. Wow. Is it Flames, actually? Carmine's Flames? Um, no, that was Supremos. Supremos and okay. like I said, I can't predict this match. And as a player... If I was on For the Bread, I feel like I could be up 3-0 right now. Yep. The first round, Wildebeest could have gotten an instant kill and saved his teammate. The second round, a 1v1 where Wingos easily could have won if he hit that last shot. And then another round right there where Wingos could have won a 1v1 on, on, on Nasty. So this could easily be either team's match. But right now, Strangulate, I mean, uh, SYN and Strangulate have the lead. Yes, I would agree with that. The score does not necessarily depict the match. I definitely would agree with that. And Here I like go. this gamer tag. Here we go, Wildebeest finally taking a one versus one and feeling good about it. He's going to grab the nades. All they have to do is survive, but Nasty knows that. So Nasty's going to try Supremos. to make a play. He gets taken out. Supremos gets a pretty much a double kill, and now it's left to Noxious and a 1v3. And there we go. Okay, so I saw people in the chat talking about Wildebeest being the Philo, first in, last out. Mm -hmm. However, or sorry, first in, first out. However, Wildebeest right there taking a confident one versus one against Strangulate. I, I, I like the turnaround. The first three rounds, I didn't see much out of Wildebeest, but he did turn it around there. Great play by Wildebeest to set up that play for his team. So now I believe he has the front spawn he here. He should have the front so spawn So we'll hop here. on board. And Wildebeest is one of, one of my really good friends. I've known him since Gears of War 1 was out, 2009. Oh, no. In a bad situation now, he's full red, but smoke grenades are going to give him some protection. And he's he has two people focusing on him. He's going to push Nasty. Not a good forward roll, but can he finish? Nasty and Frank Wildebeest missing shots. Now a 2v3 them. situation. And just like that, first map goes to uh, SYN. Goes to SYN, and what a statement. I love watching Nasty play because obviously everyone knows his skill, but it's his passion. That's him on the far right. And look at them screaming at each other's faces, guys. Gears of War is not Call of Duty. I'm just going to say that <laughs> much. Players, we are a little bit animated, just a little bit. 
and it really like I'm I'm kind of nervous because I want to make sure I catch everything. <laughs> That's true. And I'm going to do my best. Ribs is the best driver. He has the controller. He's controlling the ghost cam, switching between players. He's amazing at it. So you guys will be covered. And uh, King of the Hill Wrestling. For those of you guys that are new to Gears of War, first time watching, first to 210 points. Once you cap a hill, you don't need to be in the hill to get points, but the hill can be broken by the other team. It's a traditional King of the Hill gameplay. We're going to see synergy on the cog team. Of course, synergy is leading one to zero. Correct. And King of the Hill, a player can really catch fire and do work. And who do you want? I think I think nasty. Look both. Front spawns, will Both front spawns and nasty. Oh my goodness! The clash of the titans about to go down right now in the mulcher, and a mirror, and it looks like a mirroring strat. Here we go. Nasty is, wants to play aggressive, but he's so weak he's not going to be able to do so for a little bit. Oh, but look at Willoughby pushing the one versus one, having total confidence. And Here comes, comes great Noxious. shot, Anoxious. Willoughby's miss rolls. So Anoxious pushes past and gets a kill. And does it a good job like takes on the meat shield, but is not able to finish, of course, because the meat shield is an extra life essentially. And Nasty getting a pistol damage in, and now here comes a one v two push. It is Anoxious. all up to Wingo's in that situation. He gets taken out immediately, and Synergy is going to get first tick on this hill. And we'll see how much they can control. This first hill is usually a little bit chaotic. You don't see a team control the entire 50 seconds. And I believe this is Flames versus Strangulate. They're both going to go down. And uh, for the bread, able to pick up one kill. Noxious is going to be able to pick up a double kill here. I wonder if he knows that he's down. He and does he not doesn't. know that he's down. He's going to tap up. B bad communication from Synergy there. They have Astros. And not just go. keeping a good angle. Yogurt's going to go down. Are they going to clean up the kill on Yogurt, though? They need to get that kill. Here comes an important flank. push and a great nade from uh, Noxious. Mm -hmm. Noxious able to stay alive. He's a very good King of the Hill player. I like to think Noxious uses his brain a lot more than other players. And a lot of people don't give him credit for his skill. But, you know, teamwork, brain power, decision making, that's actually more important in this game than raw skill. In I would my opinion. I would definitely agree with that. And look at him. Using his Lancer to down someone immediately takes out a shotgun. He knows when to use what weapon. A very intelligent player, that is for sure. And look at this. Both teams have six kills. Actually, uh, for the Bread is out slaying right now with seven kills. But look at the scoreboard. Uh, SYN able to have the first 57 points of the hit, uh, first hill. And now we're going to see an unorthodox hill change. Usually it goes to an ink, but now we're going to go from the middle nades to middle map at Silverback. And yeah. we're going to see a quick cap from For the Bread. I like that. This is a hard hill to break without dying. But right now it looked like Noxious was able to take out Wildebeest. Strangulate's not going to be able to get the break. And here comes a Lancer battle oh, between, man. I think that was Supremos and versus Nasty. And two members of SYN go down, and now it looks like For the Bread is getting some uh, much needed points to get this comeback. Oh, yeah. And I like what you said there. Despite the fact that they're out slaying Synergy, they're losing in points, that just goes to show it's not just slaying. People think King of the Hill, you need to have that one Slayer that goes around. Yes, that one Slayer, but the rest of your team needs to play the objective. It's really important. Here comes important the that break push. Like I said, it's hard there, to break he this spawn hill. Shield. He had a spawn shield right mm, there. Very good point. Oh, great meat shield right there, though. Nasty goes down. Nasty is not playing as good as you would normally expect from him. Let's see what his stats are, real quick, as we're going to see a kill picked up on. There you go, Nasty with only two kills, which is not typical of Nasty, trust me. And Usually that's he's Noxious up top using uh, Griffin, not a very well, uh, or what, well how common. much, a common yeah. choice for players. <laughs> but uh, Noxious is kind of a wild card, though, that's for sure. And he's voiced by Ice-T, which I find pretty cool. That's true, I forgot about that. <laughs> Ice-T, the rapper, also appears on Law & Order SVU. Great TV show. <laughs> and uh, this is a member of For the Bread we're spectating. I believe it's Flames. And I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. For the Bread is getting into a rhythm, unfortunately, right there. Oh, no, he's not able to pick up the kill. And the next the Strangulate's going to get up. No one picked up the kill right there. So as I said, I'm liking what I'm seeing out of For the Bread. SYN is going to come right back and slay. And we'll see who can cap this next hill. I think it's going to be SYN because they do have a person advantage right now. And it looks like Wingos is able to get the back spawn area. Wildebeest and Supremos are in this back area. And this is important there because their team has spawned and now they have a, a sandwich they're able to push from both sides and a good nade kill from Na Na uh, Nas or Nasty yeah now 3v3 situation now this is a very big fight this is the third hill as of now the game is tied Flames able to get a break Flames Shotgun doing kill. an amazing job Ribs your former teammate is about to pick up a triple kill right now with the team and of he course. didn't let them break so they're getting points immediately after they're going to block the back spawn can they do it in time they are. They're going to be able so. to. They forced a silverback spawn, which is not ideal, though, because they're going to be able to push immediately. And look at the smokes flying. Synergy is going to be pushing, not even waiting a second. And Wildebeest and Wingos are going to be caught out here. But Wingos going huge. Takes out one. Wildebeest has his Lancer out. He's going to go down. Wildebeest able to down Noxious. Oh, my Noxious with some crucial missed shots. 
And, and meanwhile, and Nasty is down as well. So the bread is playing very well right now. They just took the lead. They broke it. At, so they got 71-70, to 70, the first lead they got in the match. And they were able to kill every member of SYN and Timeout Nasty. So now Nasty is dead for about 10 seconds. They know the next hill is going to be on this side of the map. And it looks like they already have possession of this next uh, this next hill. However, Wingo's does get taken out here. So but he's going to spawn. For a little bit. He's going to spawn with Nasty. Let's yep. see where Wingo spawns. He had a great spawn. Spawn with his team. So now we're going to see another push from SYN, and I'm... I so what SYN did there, they broke the hill, and they actually were able to stall the hill moving. So Wingo's... Now, Wingo's oh yeah, sorry, it's a Wingo. Yeah, Wingo's is taken out. So but now gonna we're going to see out. a 4v3 push. So Not the numbers advantage is huge. That number is crucial. And you're going to see a big fight. It's a 3 versus 2 instead of a 3 versus Noxious 3. gets one. And let's see if these are long spawns. No, it looks like everyone's, everyone's going to spawn together. On the map. So now 4 versus 4 situation. But once again, the back the back spawn is possessed by uh, for the bread. This is uh, Supremos respectating. Wildebeest gets taken out. Now one v one. Oh, the grenades though. And one right versus now, one, huge one versus one. And that's Supremos, a long spawn. That flames. That was Supremos. Needs to get the kill. So now we're gonna see a push for for the bread, and they have a four v two power play because those are two long spawns. Noxious is getting crossed. He's doing his best to lancer despite that. Flames able to stay in cover, get the kill. They're gonna get this break, and they should be able to secure at least twenty points or so. And for the bread is playing incredibly well. Look at the kill differential. You can see right here, almost all members of for the bread almost in double digits. Meanwhile, just a few of members of Synergy at the same situation. So, great job before the red. Even though they're, they're losing, they're out slaying, and I, I think out playing. It's that first tail that made the difference. And I love this. Once again, that was that was actually the fifth score change of this match, or elite change, I should say. Yep, yep, unreal. Neck and neck. These two teams are very evenly matched. I told you, like Ribs mentioned, the score did not depict the skill of these teams last night. And Noxious is going to get taken out there. Great lancer play by Flames. They need to kill Strangulate because they're not capping time right now because Strangulate is there. It's all right. I is believe it worth it, you think, for the There's only 15 seconds left. Okay. Yeah. The next hill will be mid-room. Big one versus one, and Nasty gets taken out by Supremo. Supremo's is playing really well. I want to stay on board with Supremo's as he is heating up right now. And it looks like, um, for once again, Ooh. Supremo's death will count. be spawning with Nasty. Wildebeest probably won't have a long spawn as well, but this will be a bad death right here for uh, Wingo's. So now he's going to be uh, dead while his team has to fight in the 3v4. And they did Luckily, get the last 15 seconds, and the hill is going to be ticking down slowly, so they do have time. Correct. But as I said before, map position is everything on King of the Hill, and right now a nade spawn is important for your team to have. Unfortunately, uh, Flames goes down. He's going to get revived. Wingo's just spawned, and he didn't spawn with his team, which means he's on the flank. Let's find Wingo's. Oh my God! And Wingo's does have a flank. Wingo's, but he's oh he cannot he's get die down that by quick. nasty. He needs to stay alive a little bit longer and just be a nuisance. And three members of for the bread go down. Now we're going to see a quick cap, and they're going to try to get nade control. Here comes a one v one. Noxious is going to push. He's going to full red. Two oh. shot down from Noxious and nade possession. Very big play from Noxious, and once again with another lead change. A little bit of teabag going on, so the disrespect being shown from Synergy, despite their lead here, 1-0. And so a 3 versus 4 situation, they're going to try and push 3 versus 4 as opposed to waiting. They get the break. I think I agree with that play. And Yogurt, able to take out Wildebeest. And Yogurt is just doing his thing. That's what Yogurt does. Playing consistent, playing solid, all around a good player. And we have a double meat shield in the hill right, in the hill right now. It's going to be tough to break that hill. And Never mind. Right as you say that... <laughs> Tough to break those meat shields. Like, so yeah, you can break the hill, but you're going to die right after. And I like what I'm seeing from For the Bread. You know, at this point, this hill, it's okay to get taken out. Just don't let them get more than 20 or so seconds from the hill itself. Right now, SYN has a slight lead change. They're going to go ahead and time out that member of For the Bread who's down. And uh, some more points for SYN. And it's almost like I have the death finger because, as I said, that for the bread was out slaying. Now Synergy's been out slaying for these past three minutes or so. This is a crucial hill here. We're Usually, no one kills gets no one noxious. gets consistent caps from this hill. You right. know, no one gets the whole 20, 30 seconds. It's very rare to do that. And Synergy, the unorthodox hills are what they're controlling. The nades in the middle hill. Correct. And here we're gonna go to the, another ink hill. And luckily for further bread, they took a chance and they try to occupy this side of the map. They really didn't have a choice. And now it looks like all four of them have possession of this side of the map. Here we go. Next hill is coming. Here comes push. Synergy's not missing a beat. And they're going to push with the grenades and smokes and at the same the, time. Look at that coordinated push. All four of them pushing up. Flames goes for a mantle kick. Oh, no. And now that's two members dead. They're going to let Flames crawl for a bit. Get this time. And they're getting points as of now. But so Flames is timed out. And here goes a push from Noxious and uh, and Yogurt. And this is a 1v2 situation for Supremos, oh, and he's going to no. get taken out. 
Luckily, he will spawn right with his teammate, and they'll have a chance to take one coordinated four-team push, four-player push. the last chance to do so. If they do not execute here, I think the game might be over. And Noxious in a great position gets taken out. Noxious needed to land that shot. Four versus three situation now. And on the flank. The clock is ticking. 210, and they're going to nice kill from Supremos. From Supremos, yep. Str strangulate Wingo, the last one on the hill. Very nice kill. Double kill from Wingos. Nasty gets taken Triple out. Triple kill from Wingos, and he stands up and screams at the other team mid-game. But great spawns from Synergy. They're going to come right back with a great push. But they're not going to be able to get this break unless Noxious goes off. Which he does not. Stopping power stops in his tracks. And here we go. A smart decision by Yogurt to just stay alive in the spawn. We get a spawn at Mulcher. So we're going to have multi-forces, uh, two, two members of Synergy pushing from different areas. Great push from Nasty. Now, SYN only needs 12 seconds. If they could get this cap and hold, they do win on this hill. Now we're going to seek further bread with a desperate push. Will SYN go up? They got a Two maps spawn. to zero. They got a great spawn. It all comes out of this, and they're not going to no get break. the break here. They, they're able to get a break, but they still win with only two seconds. For the bread cannot die here. All left out and, I knows, and he gets chainsawed, and that might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Synergy with one second to spare in that hill will take map two and go up two to zero in this series. Wow. And as we look at the score, I believe it was... <clears throat> At the top of the list, I believe it was Strangle. Okay, depending on the first round, though, you said. Depending on this first round, momentum is everything in spawn. this game. So now it looks like... Oh, uh, always ends up with a first spawn. Yeah. Uh, it seems like host in this game does get first okay. spawn a lot. That's what it was, yep. So Sorry. Nasty is on his host right now, keep in mind. And he has help from uh, Yogurt. Two versus two situation. I love these fights at the H. And, oh, my goodness, Nasty gets, gets taken out on his host. So great job staying alive. Here we go. We got a four of the bread shank going on. People want the favorites to lose. Willoughby needs to stay alive right now. Big situation right here. And you'll see Flames trying to get that angle. He almost gets Mantle Kick. Oh, by my Yogurt. goodness. Yogurt misses the Mantle Kick. Oh, and then no. gets another. And that's a 2v3 that, uh, oh, my goodness. Who wow. was that? Who's 1003? That is Yogurt. That Yogurt. Hotel. That is his dojo. Yes. Always at the H. Two versus three situation. Yogurt lands the Mantle Kick. That was perfectly executed. And meanwhile, Noxious just sitting back, landing some support fire. I cannot believe that two versus three clutch. I saw it coming, kind of. But Gosh. as I said, first round is so important. And not only did For the Bread lose that round, but they had an advantage. I you, they need it. to slow it down. And now it looks like they need to need to win this round in order to get some kind of uh, momentum for their team. And it looks like the Locust and SYN are going to push up. Nasty gets taken out, but he got taken out inside. So there's still a big fight happening right here. They're all SYN's so going right to back now. out, and they're going to push the flank. Oh, no. Wingos is caught. He, he needs, needs to, to pull alive. out nades. He has grenades. He's able to throw one at the floor. He picks up one kill. Now a 4v2. And then it looks like Yogurt's going up. Oh! Yogurt with a double kill. Now he's in a 1v2 situation. Wildebeest picks up boom shot, and Yogurt's going to be getting flanked. Can he? take out Wingos and he gets oh, boomed. He gets boomed. Yogurt is on top perform. I've, I, I'm telling you right now, Yogurt is playing better than Nasty. If his teammate were able to stay alive there, Yogurt's 2v1 clutch right there would have been able to bring them back into yep. that round. I cannot believe his movement his, and then the fact he took out his pistol right so quick. He's like a machine. He is fluid. He is playing so well. I want to stay over with Yogurt, to be honest. And here he is. And he's going to be following up Nasty. As you saw in the first round, he was right next to Nasty. Nasty got taken out, but Yogurt didn't. And he was able to help win that 2v3 with Noxious. And now Nasty in a big fight. He is oh he's gonna Yogurt's gonna down one and Yogurt is playing on Oh Nasty gets taken out. And Yogurt now takes him another. Too. I love what I'm watching. Oh my goodness, disgusting. Yogurt's on fire. Yogurt is on fire. And he's not missing a shot. And now we're seeing Noxious Y button will the beast. And let's talk about let's talk about one player making an impact. We called Nasty the X Factor. Yogurt, I'm telling you, is single handedly winning these rounds. For the bread is outplaying Synergy. Yes. But Yogurt with a three piece there. Look at how many kills Yogurt has. Seven kills in three rounds. Unreal gameplay from Yogurt. I cannot believe it. I, I never considered Yogurt to be that type of a flashy player. He seriously upped his game. Well, he's not doing anything flashy per se. But the up what on the wall, the, the three-piece, I don't know, his movement. What I call Yogurt is a player that does not fold under pressure. Yogurt loves pressure. For the bread shank going on, Yogurt is so feeling good right now. Is he going to get taken out of here? No, he beyonds one. He, Gonna, he wants the meat shield, but his teammate took the meat shield from him. It's all right. Yogurt takes out flames. And he's staying alive. Will he be able to win the fight at Boom Shot? And now it's a 1v3. And wow. if Will the Beast isn't able to clutch this round, for, Will the Beast takes out Yogurt. Now he has one more Boom Shot. He needs to land this Boom Shot. This is only hope. You know, run up the stairs. Great grenade. Ooh, he needs to Will the Beast able to dodge it, but he's full red. He needs to hit this boom shot. If he misses this boom shot, that's a one versus two situation. The boom shot is his biggest hope. He's going to actually rotate inside, and not. He's probably not going to pick up the sniper. He's going to gain sniper control. And that but no, nasty Nas there. Cut, and nasty cuts him off. Now Wildebeest is in a bad spot. And is right behind him. Wildebeest is in a, very, is bad in a very bad spot. He needs to try to. A great oh, a grenade. grenade. 
And here comes the push from Wildey, able to get cover, and now a 1v1 oh, situation. Beautiful, beautiful boost, and that's Wildebeest right there, guys. That's what I missed from one of my favorite players to watch, is the clutch play. Not killing himself, not getting nervous and shooting the wall, executing when he needs to execute. And one versus one, I want to see Nasty take this one versus one. Crowd, do you want to see Nasty take this one versus one against Wildebeest here? They can't hear me, they're too focused in. And if I were SYN... I would tell Nasty to do what he wants, but I would also say we I have would say a don't die. Yeah, I would. I would. You know, but Nasty has the biggest ego of anyone, and Nasty's gonna want to fight this. And this is a very fightable situation. Or uh, Will the Beast both. versus Nasty, old versus new. This is exactly what Will the Beast wanted on main stage in front of a thousand people, and Nasty is just pushing. Oh my goodness! Will the, Will the Beast. Beast. Nasty disrespected him, though. I want to say. Nasty pushed him on his right hand and tried to fight that. Wildebeest played it very passive. That's typical of Wildebeest's play. But still, he comes out on top, and that's all that matters. And look at Wildebeest. Gears of War legend. Six kills right now, two downs. And can we see a further break comeback right here? It's 2-2, two to two, right, I believe? 2-2. Two to two. Now, back to what I said. This next round is more important than any other round in this match. And we're on board with Supremos. He's Nasty able to hit here. a shot on Nasty. Nasty's going to retreat. Yogurt's going to push up instead. Yogurt able to full up full red oh, Supremos. No. And now, 4v2 situation in favor of SYN. It looks like Flames is able to take out one. Oh, my goodness. Flames with a double kill, it, but it's, it's irrelevant. Of it. Yep. Three to two, and now match point for SYN. Strangulate getting a nice little tea bag in. Tea bag in. And guys, I'm telling you, there's no big. This isn't even a traditional rivalry. This is a battle of new versus old, and I've never seen players talk this much crap to each other at a high station event. I've seen a lot. This is unreal, and you guys can see a little bit on the camera when we go. What a match right now! Synergy just one round away from securing this 3-0 victory, which would send a and message. Even to the rest though of these Nasty teams. is going inside, I'm going to stay on board with him because this mid door front has fight has been very important. I'm actually going to ghost cam towards the middle door, middle of room. And it looks like Yogurt gets the grenades. He's going to throw grenades at Boom. Big fight Primo right pushes now. right past the nade. Oh, no. Yogurt, and though. now a 4v2 situation. Yogurt with the double kill. Again, coming huge for his team. And that's Nasty all she handles wrote. the one versus one. And that is all she wrote. Synergy with the 3-0, sending a major statement. Wow. I, I want to analyze that real quick. And I want to say, I don't know if I agree with the nonstop fight. I would change my strategy on sniper side. I'd maybe run a digger strat, run a torpo heavy strat. You're not winning. Nasty and Yogurt are going off. Calm down that fire. D distinguish, extinguish the fire and, and, and reset and settle from there. I don't know if I agree with that. Well, in the end, you know, uh, For the Bread is a very confident team. I didn't get a chance to say that. But mo momentum is everything. And uh, Yogurt, a lot of people like to give uh, Nasty the credit as the best player in the game or on SYN. But I've always noticed since Yogurt has started winning lands, he is such a great player under pressure. He just went off that match. Easily the MVP of that match. And that map right there. Hands down. So uh, SYN able to advance to winner's bracket finals. And as I said, they are going to be very tough to defeat at this point. None of the practice that they didn't have before the tournament comes into play now. They are feeling great. And they are playing great. Oh, yeah. I couldn't agree more.